Okay, let's see where they go. And let's confirm any directional changes with the FDR data. Investigators combine the cockpit voice recording with the heading changes from the flight data recorder to better understand Northwest Flight 1482's every movement on the ground. Three center eggs at the ramp at Oscar 6. Did you get all that? Yeah, but I'm gonna need Just you to help. Just kind of wind around here and Oscar 6 is gonna be right around the corner here. Okay. Investigators discover that as they began to taxi, Captain Lovelace asked his first officer to navigate. Uh, left turn or right turn? Yeah, well, this is the inner taxiway here. We're still going for Oscar 6. So, left turn? Yeah. So, when they should go straight through Oscar 6, they turn off it and go east. We're headed eastbound on Oscar 6 here. Just as the controller said, you can't go east on Oscar 6. Oscar 6 runs north-south. Northwest 1482, you were on the outer taxiway. Yeah, that's right. The investigators next hear the course correction that was supposed to get Flight 1482 back on track. Northwest 1482 at Oscar 4. Take the right turn on X-ray report crossing 927. Roger, at uh, Oscar 4, make the right turn onto X-ray. The DC-9 crew was definitely told to continue eastbound and make a hard right turn onto X-ray to get back on track. So what do we do here? Yeah. Make the right turn, report crossing 2-7. The captain is now relying completely on his first officer. Okay, so the last instruction was that Oscar Four turn right onto X-ray. This is should be nine two seven. You sure? Well, that's what he said. Yeah, yeah. This is nine two seven. They are totally disoriented. Tell them we're out here, we're stuck. Somehow, they've made it here. We've got two planes facing each other on the same runway. But there's signs and surface markings all along here. I don't get it. Why didn't the airport's signage and runway marks prevent the pilots from losing their way? This is a runway. 